Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, dear viewers, to another episode of Scattered Pearls. In the previous episode, we focused on the issue of intermediary, taking the servants, taking other servants as mediators between them and Allah. And we mentioned that Islam is significant in this. It is not sufficient in Islam that a person declares that there is no creator except Allah. Because this is the claim of all people. They all agree on that. I, to, due to my experience, and many scholars that said, such as Ar-Razi, he said, the matter of believing that there is another creator with Allah, I haven't seen that kind of claim in any cult in the history. And we have to analyze that he used to be expert in the matter of cults and sects and religions. That's what he said. And also, I do not believe, or I did not experience, I did not come across any people who believe that there are two creators equal in creating Allah and someone else. Nobody. But their type of worship and paganism was ambiguous. With a matter of misconception, they believe that uh, they take those people as mediators between them and Allah. And at the same time, in a matter of fact, they're taking them as gods beside Allah. Because, as we explained before, Ilah, God, means the one that you run to in any kind of problem or calamity or difficulty. You run to Him. And the only, the only one that we run to is Allah. And this is the significance of Islam. It is not sufficient in Islam to say, well, I believe in one creator. Until... You worship that one creator, setting up no partners with him. And we should not forget that the devil deceives. The devil is not going to come and say to you, worship someone else with your creator. No. But he's going to trick you in a way that will let you be involved in this greater unforgivable sin. And at the same time, he can whisper to you the justifications that no, we're not worshipping them. Well, we, we believe that they are mediators between us and God, the Almighty. Let us recite a verse in the Quran, in the chapter Al-An'am, verse 94. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ جِئْتُمُونَا فُرَادَا كَمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً وَتَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَاكُمْ وَرَاءَ ظُهُورِكُمْ وَمَا نَرَى مَعَكُمْ شُفَعَاءَكُمُ الَّذِينَ زَعَمْتُمْ أَنَّهُمْ فِيكُمْ شُرَكَاءَ لَقَدْ تَقَطَّعَ بَيْنَكُمْ وَضَلَّ عَنْكُمْ مَا كُنْتُمْ تَزْعُمُونَ You have come to us one by one as we created you in the first. And you have not left what we bestowed upon you behind. And we do not see with you your intercessors whom you claim to be associates. Your intercessors. The bond between you is now broken. That which you asserted has now gone astray from you. In another verse, Allah said, Waqila, and it will be said, Ud'u shurakaakum. Call those whom you used to call. Invoke them. Your partners, invoke them. فَدَعُوهُمْ Then they invoked them. فَلَمْ يَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُمْ They did not respond to them. وَرَأَوُ الْعَذَابِ They did not see anything. But they saw the suffer, the punishment, the painful punishment from Allah. That explains what we've been talking about last time, about the separation that occurs between those worshippers and those whom used to be taken as partners with Allah the Almighty. Coming to another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَعْبُدُونَ And they worship. مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُمْ They worship apart from Allah something that neither harms them nor benefits them. وَيَقُولُونَ And they say, هَأُولَاءِ شُفَعَاءُنَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ those are our intercessors with Allah. 
قل أتنبئون الله بما لا يعلم في السماوات ولا في الأرض Are you telling people something that he has no knowledge about in heavens and the earth? Allah doesn't know that there is another deity with him because there is no deity with him. So you're telling Allah something about what he doesn't know? Allah knows that there is no other creator, no other one worthy of worship except him alone. Coming to another verse, and that verse is called Yasin. Yasin, people had been living in, as they say it today, in, in Takia, which is in Turkey, close to Turkey. Messengers came to them, and they were rejected by, those messengers were rejected by their people. Let us recite the verses and give its translation. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim اضرب لكم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغن عني شفاعتهم لا تغن عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل ادخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين Translation is, give to them the example of the village of the people. When we sent to them two messengers, they rejected both. So we reinforced them with a third. And they said, surely we have been sent to you as messengers. They replied, you are but humans like us. The compassionate has revealed nothing. And we're going to explain why they say the compassionate. The compassionate has revealed nothing. You only lie. They said, Our Lord knows that we have indeed been sent to you as messengers. And our duty is only to clearly convey the message. The people replied, Indeed we see an evil omen from you. If you cease not, we will either stone you and we will inflict a painful punishment to you. They said, your evil omens lie within yourselves. Do you say this because you are admonished? Indeed, you are transgressing people. And there came from the farthest, furthest part of town a man running. He said, oh my people, follow these messengers. Obey those who ask you no reward of you and are rightly guided. And why shouldn't... I worship him who has created me and to whom you shall be returned. Should I take other gods beside him? If the compassionate should intend to harm me, their intercession, and here we emphasize the fact, their intercession will avail me not. 
nor will they rescue me. Surely I will then be in manifest error. I have believed in your Lord, so hear me. It was said, enter the paradise. He said, I wish that my people know it, that my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honorable. We're going to focus or shed the light on some important points mentioned or contained in this chapter. First they said, you are human beings like us, so we're not going to believe you. And the merciful one, the compassionate one, did not send messengers, so those people believe in the compassionate one, Allah, Ar-Rahman. Don't forget that. People think that pagans do not believe in Allah. No, they believe in Allah, but their belief is false because as Allah said, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشِرْكُونَ Majority of people do not believe, but while they mix their belief with aspects of shirk. They set up partners with Allah. That is, as Allah mentions, a beautiful verse also. ذَلِكُمْ بِأَنَّهُ إِذَا دُعَيَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ كَفَرْتُمْ وَإِنْ يُشْرَكْ بِهِ تُؤْمِنُوا فَالْحُكْمُ لِلَّهِ الْعَلِيِّ الْكَبِيرِ That is, whenever Allah is being invoked, only you disbelieve. And when other partners are associated with Him, then you believe. Then the decision and the decree belongs to Allah, the High, the Great. This is the fact of those, those people. They believed in Allah. But they have problem in which we're going to explore and explain with you on this episode of the Scattered Pills. Be with us after the break. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you're 18 or if you're 80, if you've been Muslim for 50 years or 5 minutes, this is a show for you. You know when 5 times a day I've, our foreheads touch the ground in prayer, we beg for what's most important in our lives. We want to be good people, better Muslims. We want to serve Allah Almighty with all our hearts. In this show, Let's Talk, every week we're going to talk about Islam and life, how to relate with other people and how to serve Allah. We'll have studio guests, we'll have a live studio audience. There'll be a, an email for you to write to, talk at huda.tv. So if you're looking for something different, looking for something that will make you think, maybe even touch your heart, this is the show for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome back to our episode of The Scattered Pearls. It seems that those people were expecting angels. But wait, if angels came to them, they're going to be compelled to believe. And the test is that they believe when Allah sends them messengers from among themselves. As what happened with our final prophet Muhammad, peace be with him. He came to his people. He used to be believed with full confidence that he is the truthful and he is the trustworthy. And, and suddenly, when he said, I am revealed by Allah and I am the Prophet, they said, you are no, neither trustworthy nor truthful anymore. While their trusts are still in his house. And when they compelled him, when they, when they drove him out of his house and he went out of Mecca, he put his cousin Ali in charge of giving back the trusts to its people. Their trusts are still in his house and they don't believe in him. Isn't this amazing? Then here comes the dialogue of the conscience. When the man came, the person who came from a further, further place, a distant place, he said, believe in those prophets. Then he said something which, is, which has to do with our subject. Should I take apart from Allah other gods? If Allah intends with me a harm, their intercession 
will avail nothing. Intercession. So that was the problem. And those people believed in Allah and they called Him the compassionate. Yet, they have problem in this. And this man was correcting their misconception when he said that their intercessors is not going to avail me or benefit me if Allah intends to do me any or to give me any harm. So this kind of seeking intercessors is, an, is a false one, is a wrong one. They believed that their gods can save them if any harm strikes them. And they called that shafa, intercession. Therefore the issue of this issue, sometimes it becomes ambiguous. People, a cause of the lack of knowledge, they don't really understand this or seek to know it properly. Another thing which is very beautiful that we're going to let you hear which shows the greatness of this chapter. It talks before its end about the blowing on the trumpet by the angel which will cause people to die then to be resurrected. Then a great example was given by Allah or a refutation for a doubt, a doubtful claim that one of the pagans gave. Let us go with you on the delightness of those beautiful verses. Allah the Almighty says, وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَنْسِلُونَ قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا مَنْ بَعْثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب رحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم أن لا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون اصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفرون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبصرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحط القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون 
وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينصرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جند محضرون فلا يحزنك قولهم إنا نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم يرى الإنسان أنا خلقناه من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون The translation is the trumpet shall be blown, and behold, they will hasten from their graves to their Lord. They'll say, Woe to us! Who has raised us from our place of rest? This is what the compassionate promised, and truthful were the messengers. It is but a single blast, and behold, they shall be brought before us. On that day, no soul shall be wronged in the least, and you shall not be recompensed except for that which he used to do. Indeed, on that day, the dwellers of paradise will be busy with their joys. They and their spouses shall be in shades, reclining on raised coaches. They shall have fruits therein, and all that they ask for. Peace, a word from the merciful Lord. And away with you, this day, O guilty ones. Didn't I take a covenant from you, O children of Adam, that you worship not Satan, for indeed he is your open enemy, and that you should worship me. This is a straight path. Yet he has misled multitudes of you. Did you not understand? So this is hell, which you were promised. Burn there in this day for your disbelief. On this day we shall seal their mouths, their hands will speak to us, and their feet will testify to what they earned. Had we willed, we would have blotted out their eyes so that they would race to the path. But how could they see? And had we willed, we could have transfixed them in their places so they could neither move forward nor turn back. And those to whom we give long life, we reserve them in creation can they not understand? We have not taught him poetry, nor does it befit him. This is but a reminder and a plain Quran to warn the living and to fulfill the word against the disbelievers. Do they not see what our hands have created for them of cattle which they own? And we have subdued the, these to them. So some of them they ride and some they eat and they derive other benefits from them and drinks will they not give thanks? They have taken other gods beside God hoping that they may help them. They cannot help them though they serve them as devoted soldiers. So let not their speech grieve you indeed. We know what they conceal and what they reveal. Doesn't man see that we have created him from a drop of sperm, yet he becomes an open enemy? And he argues with us 
forgetting his own creation, saying, Who will give life to the rotten bones? Say, He will revive them who produced them at first, for he has full knowledge of every creature. It is he who produced for you fire from the green tree, and behold, you kindle therewith. Isn't he who created the heavens and the earth able to recreate the same? Indeed, yes, he is the supreme creator, all-knowing. His command, when he intends a thing, is only that he says to it, Be, and it is. So glory be to him, in whose hands is the dominion over all things. And to him you shall return. Beautiful. Beautiful verses, isn't they? This is the fact that Allah the Almighty said, the son of Adam harms me and charges me lie. As for harming me, that he says that I have a son and I'm the only one who has no partner. As for charging me lie, he claims that I will not return and repeat the, cre the creation. And create, creating the creation from the beginning is not easier than recreating the creation. I hope you enjoyed those marvelous verses with much spirituality. Those proportional way and rhetorical way of expression, it shows the greatness of this Quran and that it is from Allah. Thank you for being with us. Hoping to be with you on another episode of The Scattered Pearls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.